Okay, so what we've got here is a classic car that you've put a lot of time, effort, dollars into building, mate. Yeah, yeah, we've um, spent a couple of years putting it together and we're uh, pretty happy with it so far. We're, we're only sort of playing with it lightly at the moment. We've uh, gone 881s on pump fuel with radial tyres. So. The fact that you've spent so many dollars on this car, you know, like it, it means a lot to you, obviously. Yep. Mate, do you go out and really, you know, make an idiot of yourself with this car? Mate, no, I don't. I don't actually turn the tyres on the street with it, you know. Like if we want to play with it, we go to the track and race it at the track or we go to the power cruise and play at the power cruise with it and things like that. So what do you have to say about the idiots that are going out and turning tyres on the streets? It's not a good thing. And, you know, most of my young kids, like when I got my licence, you know, my car would be flat out doing 140 kilometres an hour. Now they've got cars that'll do 220 and it's sort of, you know, no one's got any car control. You know, there's no experience in kids anymore. Like, you know, when we grew up, we always had a paddock to drive in and taught how to drive or, you know, we had race cars as young kids and stuff. Nowadays, it's just, you know, they're thrown in, what I say, a VN Commodore, you know, do 200 kilometres an hour, not a problem. They don't brake real well, they don't handle real well and, you know, they think they're Peter Brock, so... And look what happened to poor old Pete. That's it, mate. Hit a tree. Good night, Irene. It's all she wrote. Mate, if it can happen to the best of them, what chance do these blokes got? Uh, none, mate. That's the problem, hey. So I just believe that you know the government probably should put more time and effort into driver training for kids at school like they do in America and stuff like that. You know, like in Toowoomba, where I'm from, they've just spent three or five million dollars on a push bike track. It's all bitumen and everything. It would be a perfect facility to put cars on there to teach kids how to drive cars, car control. Maybe if they build a racetrack up there, we wouldn't have the issues we have with the kids on the streets, you know, so...